the third generation of the liftback, which, by the way, looks like a sedan, was released in 2015. A year later, the station wagon was added to the line of modifications. In our market, the car was sold only with petrol four-cylinder engines of 1.4 liters, 125 and 150 forces, 1.8 liters, 180 horsepower, and 2.0 liters, 220 and 280 forces. The 1.4 liter engines relied on a six-speed mechanics, and the 150 horsepower was also equipped with a seven-band dual-clutch robot. The same boxes were combined with a 1.8 liter, four, and for engines with a volume of 2.0 liters, only a six-speed robot with two wet clutches was offered. Whatever version and engine you choose for a used Superb, its body will certainly be in perfect condition. Firstly, it is very reliably protected from corrosion, and secondly, the car is still quite young to acquire body sores. If you see traces of rust on the body, turn around and leave, the car must have been in an accident and was poorly restored. But if the windshield is wiped on the copy you like, do not rush to make hasty conclusions. The fact is that it is rather weak on the superb, especially with heating, and already after 10,000 kilometers of run, chips and scratches are noticeable on it, as well as scuffs from the brushes. It makes no sense to buy an original part, which is very expensive, there are many high-quality and affordable, non-original, ones on the market. After three to four years of intensive use, the caps of the front optics are overridden. However, usually polishing them is enough to restore the transparency of block headlights. As for the engines, the superb for the Russian market uses only petrol, fours, with turbocharging, direct fuel injection and other technical delicacies. The base engine with a volume of 1.4 liters, 125 forces, is rather weak for a heavy liftback, especially for a station wagon. Therefore, it is combined exclusively with a manual six-speed gearbox. This unit of the CZCA series has replaced the 122 horsepower predecessor and has already managed to recover from childhood illnesses. True, he still has a turbocharger and a fuel pump at risk, and he is extremely picky about the quality of fuel and engine oil. Its 150 horsepower counterpart of the CZDA series is more common and also reliable, and it is also seen in the consumption of engine oil for waste. But what's interesting is that some owners complain about its increased oil appetite, while others claim that from replacement to replacement, according to the regulations of 15,000 kilometers, the level of liquid lubricant remains at its original level. Here, as luck would have it, the Germans claim that consumption up to 150 to 200 grams per 1,000 kilometers is an acceptable norm. By the way, at the dawn of its youth, this motor also did not shine with reliability. Rings and pistons were changed under warranty, and the program of the engine control unit was repeatedly reflashed. But on the third generation Superb, the 1.4 liter 4 has already got rid of birth defects. Perhaps, just like the 1.8 liter unit of the CJSA series, which has been in service with the Volkswagen concern for almost a quarter of a century. To date, this is perhaps the most reliable for turbocharged among Volkswagen engines. There are practically no complaints about it, except for the high requirements regarding the fuel and oil used. The most powerful two-liter units of the CHHB and CJXA series in the range were also damp at first. But a series of upgrades and upgrades of control electronics today made it possible to achieve a quite decent level of reliability. However, if problems arise, then after 120 to 150,000 kilometers. Therefore, for all turbo engines installed on the Superb, it is necessary to use high-quality fuel. Many owners use the 98th gasoline, and some even the 100th, an engine oil recommended by the manufacturer. Moreover, given that it can be spent on waste, its level should be controlled. After all, the lack of liquid lubricant leads to an earlier failure of the turbocharger bearings, which the dealer costs from 60,000 rubles. And for the motor itself, oil starvation is very harmful. At risk for all turbocharged engines are spark plugs and ignition coils, oxygen and mass airflow sensors, a throttle assembly, an EGR valve and a water pump that can withstand no more than 100,000 kilometers. But there will definitely be no problems with six-speed manual gearboxes, and they are not often found on used liftbacks and station wagons. But with seven-speed dual dry-clutch robots, you will probably have to suffer in the future. Although they have become more durable in recent years, they have been used in the concerns program for more than 12 years and are constantly being upgraded. Moreover, if some owners complain about jerking in the box already at 40 to 60,000 kilometers, 
than others drive the DSG-7 without problems for more than 150 to 200,000. After the latest firmware and improvements, the clutch package and mechatronics were guaranteed to nurse 100,000 kilometers. The main condition for the longevity of these transmissions is regular oil changes and normal vehicle operation. But the six-band dual-clutch gearbox operating in an oil bath has proven to be more reliable, and its resource reaches 300 to 400,000 kilometers. These robots are combined only with the most powerful motors, the torque of which exceeds 300 newton meters. In general, when buying a used superb with such a transmission, do not regret 300 to 500 rubles for diagnostics. At the same time, we also recommend checking the all-wheel drive transmission, which is installed on the top version of the car. There is nothing to break in the independent suspension yet, the first expenses, as experience shows, will begin only after 100,000 kilometers, and not every 2015 to 2016 Superba has such an odometer mileage. Most likely, at the forefront of the updates will be the stabilizer struts, as well as silent blocks and ball joints of the front levers, which are usually changed as an assembly. Shock absorbers are guaranteed to last 120,000 kilometers and even more. True, original spare parts cannot be called cheap, so many use high-quality, non-original, from well-known brands. In addition, given that the car is built on the basis of the Volkswagen Passat B8, many parts for the Superbu fit from it. Electrical equipment is generally reliable, although some glitches in the system still occur. Often there are failures in multimedia, but dealers change or repair it under warranty without talking. In general, a used Skoda Superb can be safely recommended for purchase. And if it is a modification with a manual transmission, then it will definitely not bother with breakdowns. However, DSG robotic transmissions have recently become much more reliable and can easily nurse up to 150,000 kilometers without repair. Therefore, such versions of the Superba can be taken into account.